Hey guys, welcome to part one of our two-part series of how to release your thoracolumbar fascia, which is our TLF for short. Now, the thoracolumbar fascia sits right above the low back and below the lats, and it helps to transfer force from your glutes to your lats, and it's part of what we call the posterior oblique sling. Now, when this guy is not gliding or he's stuck, we tend to have problems with low back pain, with distributing force through our glutes and lats, or just functioning as a human being. Now, what we're going to do for this is we're going to start with a two inch or thicker band. You need it to be at least two inches or it could snap. And I like to attach it to a ring so we can adjust the tension very easily. You can also attach it to a pull or pull up bar and that will work as well, but that will be a one size fits all approach. Now for this first part, we're going to go above the TLF, right kind of on the lats. Now, the one thing I want to say to watch out for is that the band sneaks up in the armpit. If you start to lose blood to your hands or it starts tingling or you lose feeling, go ahead and lower it down a little bit. So here's how this works, is we're going to come from behind, we're going to place it around, make sure it's not twisted, and I'm going to have it just below my armpits and I'm going to hold it there. You don't want it riding up in your armpits because it's going to cut off blood flow and it's not very fun. So take it right below the armpits. If you want to, going on skin is going to be even more effective than over a shirt, but over a shirt works fine too. I'm going to hold the band and then I'm going to keep it on that spot and then I'm going to slowly lower down and then I'm going to let the band go nice and long and stretch me out. Now, what I like to do when I'm in this position is to not be rounded with my back or leaning back. I want to try to make an L with my body, so I'm going to straighten my legs and then make my spine as tall as possible as the band stretches and pulls on that fascia and tissue to create some space and to help heal that area. Now I go ahead and hold my hands up high because I feel it's a little bit easier to feel the stretch and to make myself tall. So I grab up tall and then we just want to practice breathing. Now, to make this stretch a little bit better, I'm going to grab a 45 pound plate. You don't have to go 45 pounds, but we can load this up quite heavy. If you have a friend, have them load you up. We're going to go right on top of the quad so we've got something pushing down while the band's pulling up. I would recommend even going a little bit heavier towards 100 pounds because it's going to be very effective at helping create that gap in the TLF. So now I'm going to go back up and I'm just gonna hang out here. Just hang out here and make my spine as tall as possible and let the band do its work. You wanna hang out here for a minimum of five minutes. Remember, if the band starts to go too high in the armpit and you start to lose feeling in your fingers, go ahead and pull it down and just let it stretch. Now, once we've been in this position for about five minutes, we're going to take the weight off and then we're going to do a few things for the outsides of our body. What I'm going to do to hit the lateral line and to stretch the outside fascia is I'm going to take one leg over the other and I'm going to go crisscross like a pair of scissors. Then I'm going to twist my chest open and you should feel stretch in your QL, your oblique, your lower part of your lat. And now I'm going to side bend. So I'm going to drop my hip and try to pull myself up and lift my ribs and hang out here and one more time breathe. So I'm dropping my hip, raising up my rib cage, I'm breathing, and I should feel that stretch the outer line. Hang out here, we're going to flip flop, scissor your legs, take your chest out and away towards the opposite wall, drop your hip, and then I'm pulling myself. So I'm doing a little side bend here while I drop my hip, and you should feel that in the outer low back and lat. Now the last step in this process, if you've had any back injuries or trouble with your back, please, please, please ease into this or just skip it all together. What we're going to do is we're going to do an elevated cobra stretch. You want to make sure you gently squeeze your glutes for this. And if there's any pain or sensations in your back that aren't normal, go ahead and skip it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to flip around completely just like in yoga and I'm slowly going to flip around and now I'm going to squeeze my glutes as I let my hips slowly go to the ground and then let my abs get a nice, 
deep stretch. This is a great way to prepare your body for bridging, if you've struggled with bridging before, and to help open up your spine into extension. Once again, be very careful. If you've had any trouble with your back, go ahead and skip that part. Then once we've been here for a few minutes, we're gonna go back up to the top, and boom, guys, you're going to feel your back healthy. That TLF should be able to glide. Now you can transfer force from your glutes to your lats. Boom, you're ready to kick butt. If you've got any questions, comment below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and drop that thumbs up, and I will see you guys in part two of this video series.